You are listening to the Fire Rescue Athlete Podcast with your host, Aaron Zamzow. Hey everybody, Aaron Zamzow here with the Fire Rescue Athlete Podcast. Mm -hmm. Say right now, as I am recording this, it is around the holiday season. Uh, Thanksgiving is around the corner. Christmas is around the corner. So today, my topic of discussion um, is actually um, has been kind of reared from the fact that it's the holidays and it's a difficult time to stay on track with your, your fitness and your nutrition. And so today I wanted to give a couple of things to do uh, from the standpoint of nutrition uh, to help you eat and make better choices and decisions um, around this time of the year. And then I also want to just give you a couple of workout uh, tips, Um, you know, sometimes around this time of the year, timing and time is a major issue because you're either traveling or you have different parties. Um, You know, those of us in the fire service, of course, have different shifts and overtimes and holidays we work and and all these different stresses uh, also with shopping. Uh, so, you know, time is of the utmost um, of concern for most of us and, and probably one of the biggest reasons we miss our workouts. That and the fact that we might be uh, feeling a little tired, uh, hungover sometimes based on uh, how the holiday goes for us. Um, so let me just start with nutrition. Uh, um, I know that Thanksgiving is a kind of a, a holiday where we eat a lot of food. I am included with that. Uh, so one of the things or a couple of the things that, that you can do around, uh, not only Thanksgiving, but you know, when you go to these holiday parties, um, to prepare for all the different foods uh, that you eat is, is number one, if you're following what I call the 90, 10 rule, and, um, if you don't know what it is, I'll, I'll, I'll summarize it really quickly, but you can also, uh, go to the firerescuefitness.com website and, um, there is a post about nutrition hacks and 90, 10 is on that. Um, but basically, it's eating healthy, eating well 90% of the time where you're watching what you eat, cutting out sugars, uh, ma- making sure that you're well hydrated, getting a lot of vegetables and fruits into your diet. Um, 90% of the time, you're following a very, very good diet plan. 10% of the time is you cheat and you don't care. Um, you know, if you want to have that ice cream or that dessert, you do it. So first of all, following the 90-10 rule right around the holidays, what you need to do is plan that meal. So Thanksgiving, let's say that afternoon, uh, personally, I am going to eat whatever the heck I want and for as long as I want. Now, with a caveat that I am not going to eat uh, up until that point. So I'll do a, an intermittent fast um, from eight o'clock the night before till about one o'clock the next day where mom is going to cook um, a nice turkey. So the the point here being is if you're following that 90-10 plan, all right, if I'm going to eat you know, well on on Thursday, Friday, I'm, I'm going to go right back at to eating clean and Saturday uh, as well. So kind of plan out when you're going to cheat. And I think that's one of the biggest things. And then the second part of that is don't allow yourself to, um, to go, hey, it's Thanksgiving weekend. So I'm going to take off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, and there's two reasons for that. Number one, you start to feel lethargic, uh, which makes it more difficult to get your workouts in. Um, number one and number two, um, those calories can really, really, um, you know, add up. And, uh, before you know it, you could be five, 10 pounds down or up, uh, I should say in this particular case. So follow the 90, 10 rule, plan it out a little bit. The other thing that will help is staying very well hydrated. There's also some stress that we get with the holidays, whether it's working extra shifts, dealing with relatives, traveling, um, Whatever you can think of, I I know that there's a lot of family uh, dichotomy and everything else that goes on in there. So anyways, stay well hydrated uh, during the holidays. Make sure um, that uh, you always have a water bottle handy. That will also help um, almost ensure that you don't overeat because the water is there to help you feel satiated. The other thing is when you're doing uh, Thanksgiving, for instance, load up on some of the vegetables peas, carrots, potatoes, load up on them and not the sugary, you know, salads or, um, you know, gelatins or what, what have you, or cranberries. So load up on those veggies, try to stick to leaner protein. So try to think about eating less, um, more of the less fat, uh, items out there. 
Now this one I know you're gonna you're gonna cringe at a little bit, but avoid seconds. If you load up your plate the first time, give yourself at least 10 to 15 minutes before you go back if you do go back. Chances are if you just pause and let your mind and your brain catch up with your stomach, you'll be okay. The other thing is appetizers can add up. So if your family's like mine and you got a ton of appetizers out there, just watch out for the chips and, and such that are out there. My mom does a good job personally of uh, putting out a lot of vegetables. So I try to just stick to some of them. And then if you overeat, try to fast a little bit after. Uh, I actually try to fast before and then um, after Thursday, I do it again. Um, if you want to read a little bit about intermittent fasting, you can at the firerescuefitness.com website. Um, just go up to the search bar and type in intermittent fasting. Uh, there has been some great insight and uh, feedback from an article that I, I uh, produced and, and published on that on the website. So there's some things here. Just to review, follow the 90-10 rule. Plan your uh, cheap meals out for the holidays. Try to drink a lot of water. Stay well hydrated. Load up on veggies, not desserts or sugary um, jellos and salads and such. Stick to eating leaner proteins. Avoid seconds. Or namely, after your first, give yourself time for your brain and your stomach to catch up. Try not to graze too much around the appetizer table. And then integrate in intermittent fasting when you can to help you, um, you know, restrict a little bit more of the calories after you have indulged. And from, um, so that's a, that's what I wanted to talk about nutritionally. I know some of those might be a little bit difficult, um, but, but give it your best shot this time of the year and don't let again, you know, one cheat meal turn into 30 cheat meals. And then from a workout standpoint to save time, what you may want to do is lighten your weights. If you're uh, resistance training and, uh, and also decrease the rest time. And what that will do is increase metabolism a little bit have you burn more calories. I, um, am actually linking to this, uh, podcast. I'm linking a, um, a link to a, a metabolic workout that you can do over the holidays. It only takes 15 to 20 minutes, uh, with a five minute act, uh, active movement and a four minute stretch total is 29 minutes, I think right around there, but you are moving constantly burning a lot of calories going from one exercise to the, re- to the next, not resting a lot. So you may want to think about doing more metabolic movements. If you are following a body weight or um, I'm sorry, a a body part workout program, which, um, you know, that's a topic for another day, whether that's the best for firefighters, EMTs and medics, but move to full body three days a week and then try to integrate in uh, what we call fire ground movements or crew based workouts or fire ground uh, based uh, circuits on the, the days in between. Um, like I said, try to get more movement in there, try to get full body exercises, less rest, higher rep schemes, lower weights, keep going, keep moving. Um, and then uh, of course, when you couple that with eating, um, you know, a lot more vegetables, drinking your water, staying hydrated, you can maintain and, um, and actually even make a little bit of progress through this holiday season. I think the key for all of us is, you eat a lot, all of a sudden you feel lethargic and you don't work out the next day or you skip two days or you know you're traveling and, uh, you know, coming back, you're tired. I think the biggest thing is get back at it right away. Don't take too much time off. Don't do too many cheat meals. If you are at relatives, um, this year I'm very fortunate personally. I don't have to travel as much. But um, in the past, what I've done is, tried to take my dog for a walk or, you know, even gone for a walk with some um, of my relatives. And uh, that, of course, will help with family bonding, but it'll get you moving a little bit so you're less likely to to stay lethargic throughout the day and then have that lead into the next day. Anyways, the main, the other main point of this podcast is to wish you all a very happy holidays. I just uh, want to uh, say how much I appreciate you guys listening and supporting FRF. If you have other topics, I like the one today was actually a question that was generated on our FRF crew workout uh, group page. I also look at the FRF Facebook page and emails often for 
questions, and that's where I get these uh, the ideas for the podcast and for my blog post. So this is going to link to a workout. It's going to link to a summary of these uh, nutritional guidelines and tips. I hope that they help you out. Again, enjoy the holiday. Um, don't overindulge. Stay fit. Try to make progress and uh, continually get FRF. Thank you for listening to the Fire Rescue Athlete Podcast with your host, Aaron Zamzow. Please tune in again soon for more fitness tips for fire rescue athletes.